Hello and welcome to this presentation of the follow-up email add-on for the WooCommerce plugin provided by 7519 Media LLC and also available on the WooCommerce website. So we're looking to upgrade from a reactive website to a proactive website. That is to give customers emails, follow-ups, ask for a specific interval when they perform specific actions. Things like thanking a customer after so much time, ask them how they're getting with their product maybe. Encourage people to take action, return a complete uh, purchase when they've abandoned a cart. Repeat their order if it's a renewable product. Ask them to subscribe to a service, offer a delayed cross-sale upgrade or coupon. Even ask for feedback or referral. And I'm sorry about the builders outside. So we can use various actions which start from something called a trigger. So that could be on their first purchase, added a cart, customer purchased, an order status, a refund, etc. You can see there's lots of options here. But this plugin also supports uh, actions using the Sensi training module. So after a lesson is completed, you can send out an email after completing a quiz, after a lesson has been started. They also support WooCommerce subscriptions. So we can set up an action email after a period of time after those triggers have been set. And lastly, the WooCommerce Rewards plugin can also be used. In fact, that's not the last one because we also support um, WooCommerce Tickets plugin. And the WooCommerce Bookings plugin. So you can send out tweets as well. So you can send a tweet thank you to new customers. You can welcome new customers, offer discounts, vouchers that they may want to share with their friends. You can remind a customer to refill a product or even give them a voucher for more encouragement. You could send a follow-up email for customers who have not purchased for a while. Email customers who purchase a category of product when other similar offers are available in that category. So this is how it works. Firstly, you create an email template. If you don't want to, there's default one set up, but obviously for customization, it's nice to set up an email template of your own. You will need some pretty basic HTML skills to be able to understand that, but it is well worth the effort, even if you get somebody else in. You then have a list of email subscribers, not opt-outs. So you can create an email subscribers list, you also can create an opt-out list so those that can be taken off, stay taken off and don't start getting annoyed with emails they shouldn't have. You can also create coupons, you have to create coupons within this software, you can't use the standard WooCommerce coupons at the same time of raid because they need to be tied to the person being sent to. And you can create often used emails for easy duplication for use later. And when you create a rule, you can duplicate the email if you're doing variations on the same subject. So the rules can be set by the rules of purchasing or the other actions. And all the options depend on which Woo plugins you're using. If you're finding you've got a lot of rules, you can set up group email campaigns so that all the emails of within a certain campaign classification can be grouped together and make it easier to manage. If an action is scheduled, it sits in a scheduled email list. And if the rules are no longer valid when it goes to be sent out, the scheduler will remove it. And there's some nice customer reporting show the emails sent, the opens, the click throughs and the lifetime value of each customer. You can also see whether they open the emails on different devices. So uh, let's flip over and show you a live demonstration of some of the features. Right, this is my 
demo server which is uh, 11 years old now so it can be a bit slow sometimes you see that we can have emails in campaigns and I got two campaigns about cents and within that I have an order and oh, no, I want that one so what you do is you create a, a title for you there's the email subject here's the email content now in the email content we put an image we put in some variables so dear customer name and then we've put in a coupon code and we've also given a subscribe unsubscribe URL if they want to come off the list so what we're doing here is a quantity based email so it's um, dependent on the purchase of some sort we're using the new normal Woo template but that's where you can change the email template something else depending on what the email template is you'll have a list of variables available and then we have uh, the fact we're going to delay it for two minutes which is not very good but it was to make it easier for me to test and play with uh, after the order status complete or it could have been processing we can enable for a specific category which is a sense category so this will only fire off if the purchase includes a product from the sense category we could have chosen all products or just a specific product in our settings here we can limit the fact that we only send it once per customer and delay any existing emails if they're going before here we can generate a coupon and we have to generate the coupon definition somewhere else but we choose which coupon we're going to use here here's some reply to information just to make the email more sensible and Google Analytics is just to set up a UTM code if you wish so you can get some analysis of the emails flying around on your Google Analytics so templates you need to be quite clever at if you wish to write your own but as a one-off thing maybe you can have a web designer do it for you there are some template layouts here you can create your own obviously the what is in the template layout defines what control codes are going to appear in the system when you edit your email above that we have the opt-outs so these are the people that don't want to receive any emails you can specify them here you ask people to subscribe to your list where you, so you can send out emails to them this is where you manage the subscribers the schedule emails will tell you any emails that are waiting to be sent out you can actually send them out early or you can delete them they sit in this queue for however long the delay is for, for their action we have to define our coupons in this section so that they can be correctly applied to the emails so we can't use the standard coupon codes from other parts of WooCommerce I believe here we have some nice customer data reporting telling us what open rates are and how much people are worth which is quite useful this report shows a bit more detail how many emails are sent and opened and bounced which devices are receiving them and some graphs so this gives you the information from the point of view of the email not the point of view of the customer and this is where you create a new email and then above that is where you define the campaign so you can group email actions together make it easier to understand what's going on all the time so the only other thing to show you really is how we can have a email with a different view so we can have different types of follow-ups and defining this de determines what happens on the rest of the screen so the bottom one we've got we can send out Twitter messages quantity based emails are when somebody's purchased something what you're going to do customer emails are to your customer subscriber list mainly emails are manual sign up is to sign up your subscribers and a store-wide email is to send to everybody when you choose one of these it will then determine what variables are available down here and that's also determined by the template and if you're really not sure what's going on then there is a send test at the bottom and a preview and browser at the bottom as well so you can see what's going on
Obviously, if you have the other plugins to support the other options, then this follow up type list is going to change. You're going to have more things added to it. But for just WooCommerce itself following up, that's the follow up email package. So, as of the 28th of September 2015, there is a URL to get the documentation to have a look at the product and to order it. It's created by 7519 media but it's available on woothemes.com site it is compatible with multi-site and the latest version of woocommerce and it costs from 99 dollars for one site and then there are discounts for multiple sites after that please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for listening and watching and we'll see you again at the wp business club